Hi, I'm Alexis, and this is my guide to get Terragosa's visage. Before we start, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. It'll help my channel grow, and I'll be able to put out more content more often. If you're on this video, you probably do not currently have or are trying to get the Dragon Wrath Terragosa's rest staff. To get this staff, there's a series of old quests you have to do, and after getting the staff, you'll then need to do a campaign quest line, the first quest being Keeper of the Ossuary, and then you'll get the mount. The old quest line to get the staff can only be done by druids, mages, warlocks, shamans, priests, and evokers. That is, classes that have staff proficiency and one spec that needs intellect. You can get the first quest to start the quest line in one of two ways. The first way is by killing a Molten Lord inside Firelands and you'll automatically receive a quest, your time has come. The second way is by completing these three achievements, Blackwing Descent, The Bastion of Twilight and Throne of the Four Winds. Then go speak to Zeradormi inside Grommash Hold in Orgrimmar, if you're Horde, or Koradormi inside the portal room in the Mage Tower in Stormwind. They'll both have a quest to give you and you can start completing the quest line from there. Now sit tight, because we have a whole lot of quests to do. The first quest, a legendary engagement. This will take you to the Caverns of Time, where you have to speak to Anachronos. A wrinkle in time. Speak to Anachronos and witness the future of Azeroth. All seeing. Now we're gonna get busy. You need to go to Firelands and collect 25 Eternal Embers. These drop from bosses, but they have about a 30% drop chance, so you won't get one with each boss kill. You can do runs on both 10-man and 25-man raids in a single lockout, but you'll still probably need to do this over multiple weeks. A trick that I heard some players do is create a legacy raid group, and they could do Firelands again during that week and still be able to loot the bosses after they already did the 10 and 25 man raid. I didn't try this myself, so if you try it out and it works, leave a comment saying so. You also need 3 Sands of Time and you need to buy these from Yasmin in Uldum, coordinates 26, 7. They cost 3000 gold each. A bit pricey, but oh well, we want Taragos' visage. Return these items and the next quest is on a wing and a prayer. A sphere will spawn, just click it to pick up the quest item. Through a glass darkly, travel to the Nexus and meet Taragosa, follow her around the dungeon until the quest is complete. Actionable Intelligence, travel to Nardrasil in Mount Hyjal and speak to Caligus. Delegation, back to Firelands we go. This is another hectic quest which is going to take some time and patience to complete. While doing the quest you need to make sure not to one shot any of the bosses because you need to collect a total of 4 crystals during the fights. I took off all my gear and weapon, removed any buffs and aggroed the bosses by simply running into them. So you're gonna be dealing with 4 bosses for these items, Betelak, Rialis, Alistrazor and Shanix. Let's start with Betelak. Start the fight by simply running up to him for aggro. When he goes up, kill the spiders dangling down to encourage these larger spiders, cinderweb drones, to spawn. Killing these will drop fragments on the ground. You need a total of three of these to create a dull chitinous focus and one drone should drop all three fragments. Do this fast because then you need to use the web from one of the smaller spiders to go up to the boss and place the item in front of the boss just before it starts casting Smoldering Devastation. If you accidentally fall down, no worries, just get back up. I had already placed the item before the cast, and now it's changed into a charged chitinous focus. If the boss comes back down before you manage to go up and place the dull fragment, no worries, nuke the boss, go out, switch the raid from 10 man to 25 man or vice versa, if you haven't locked out for the week on both yet, or ask your friend to lend you their lockout. There's no way to reset this boss unless you're a hunter and you feign death. Next boss, Rhyolith. Fragments will spawn along the edge of the area, 
Just ignore the boss after starting the fight and run around picking up the fragments until you have three. You can kill the ads cause they can get annoying. Combine three fragments to make a dull rhyolite fragment. Then you need to nuke down the left and right leg for Lord Rhyolith to come to full force and place the fragment on the ground in front of him before he casts Concussive Stomp. Or as he starts raising his foot. It turns into a charged Rhyolite focus. I accidentally killed the boss but he had already done the stomp so all well and good. Next is Alistrazor. During the fight eggs spawn two at a time and hatch with each hatchling dropping one fragment. So you need to wait for the second set of eggs to have three fragments. Once you have all three, combine them. Try to smack the boss around a bit with auto attack without killing her to get her down for the third phase when she's a skeleton on the ground and place the crystal underneath her head. She'll start burning fire and stuff and eventually the crystal will become lootable and you'll get a charge price shell focus. Last boss, Shanix. If you're not a hunter, you're gonna need to get a friend to help you out. Special thanks goes to my friend Mansa for tagging along. Shanix needs to be aggroed by a secondary person. Kill Rage Face cause he's annoying, he keeps pinning you down through the whole fight. But leave the other dog. Now, either you or the dog should be run through the trap to trigger the crystal prison. Then destroy the crystal prison and it will drop a fragment. Once you get all three and make a dull emberstone focus, place it in the orange circle on the ground just before he casts Hurl Spear. If you don't get it in the correct position right away, don't worry. Try to tank Shanax over the crystal and he'll eventually cast it again and hit the crystal, changing it into a charged emberstone focus. Now that you have all four crystals, run up to the circle of thorns at the top left part of Fireland and use the four crystals to open up the portal, taking you to the Anvil of Configuration. You'll find some ads surrounding the area and supposedly controlling the branch of Dordrasil. Nuke them down and then fight the big tree for a bit. You'll change into a tree, nuke Volcanus, and eventually you can loot the branch of Nordrasil. Finally, quest complete! Next quest, Nordrasil's bow. Pick up the branch of Nordrasil from in front of the blue dragon. Emergency extraction. Speak to Kalgos and accompany him to Koldara. At one. Bond with Teragos's essence and speak to Kalgos to agree to his proposition. Time grows short. Again, back to Firelands. You now need to collect 1,000, yes, 1,000 Seething Cinders from Firelands. These drop from bosses and as the previous quests, you can do runs on both 10 man and 25 man in a single lockout, killing each boss twice and finish the quest a bit faster. But this is still going to take multiple weeks to complete because each boss will only drop about 20 cinders and Ragnaros will drop around 50. The quest after this is Alignment. Just speak to Kalagos and witness Kalagos' ascension. This will give you the rune Staff of Nordrasil. Be careful not to vendor the staff by mistake, because you can't redo the quest to get it back. Heart of Flame. The last major time-consuming quest at Firelands. Take the staff back to Firelands and use the staff on defeated bosses to collect smoldering essences. You need 250 of these. Same as before, you can do this on 10 men and 25 men in the same week. However, since you're just using the staff on the bosses and not looting them, you can use the lockout of other players or create a raid group on your alts to continue running the raid over and over again within the same week, getting the essences from each boss and getting all 250 in the same week. I did this a couple of times using my alts. You just set up a raid group with your alts, get the alt into the raid first, relog and then enter with your main, and you'll find all the bosses alive. You won't get loot, but you will get the essences. 
Keep in mind that Ragnaros does not give essences, but he's the one that gives you the Heart of Flame. But you can only loot this once you have all 250 essences. So once you have all 250 essences, defeat Ragnaros and he'll let you loot the Heart of Flame from the middle of the platform. Deliver these back to Stormwind or Orgrimmar, where you'll be given the quest Stuff of Legends, where you just have to witness a ceremony. As a reward, you'll finally get the Dragon Wrath Terragoza's Rest Staff, which, when used, will turn you into Terragoza's Visage. Now that she finally got the staff, you can come back to the present time of the Dragon Isles. You need to finish the quest chain starting with Keeper of the Ossuary, which is one of the campaign quest chains in Dragonflight. It's a chain of 20 quests, but they're pretty straightforward, no need for explanations. After completing the quest chain, or if like me you already completed the quest chain before getting the staff, you need to speak to Kalagos at 3963 in the Azure Span, who will give you the quest Terragosa's Rest. This is a short quest line which will lead you back where the campaign started and you'll get the last quest, Rhapsody in Blue, where you prepare Terragosa's grave and start the ritual and in the end be rewarded with the mount. And grats, you finally got Terragosa's visage. At the time of making this video, the mount seems to be a bit bugged once you learn it and when I tried using the mount, the game kept telling me that I didn't do the required quest yet. Refreshing didn't work, I logged out of the game for a few minutes and when logging back in, it was fine. So if this happens to you, just log out and give it some time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found this video useful. I also stream on Twitch, so be sure to give me a follow to catch some live streams. Thank you for watching and happy mount hunting!